What's really going on with Australia's vaccine rollout? The Melbourne-Sydney thing. Increasingly, it feels like a tale of two cities. Let's have a look at the data. In July, New South Wales and Victoria were near identical in the vaccine race. But yesterday, New South Wales had got to 52.6% double dose and over 80% first dose. Yet Victoria yesterday was lagging behind at 43.9% double dose. Shockingly, the projections are that by mid-October, New South Wales will have hit the 80% double dose rate, the key to ending Scott Morrison's lockdowns. Yet Victoria is lagging weeks behind into November. Why? Well, Scott Morrison quite simply stole Victoria's Pfizer. 340,000 doses of Victoria's Pfizer were secretly shoveled to his Liberal government mates in New South Wales. He's supposed to be the Prime Minister for Australia, not the Prime Minister for Sydney and New South Wales. Victorians have suffered through more than 230 days of lockdowns, more than any other state and territory. We're sick of Scott Morrison's lockdowns. People desperately want them to end. How can Scott Morrison even pretend what he's doing is fair? Victorians have had more AstraZeneca, they've used more AstraZeneca than any other state, and we were running neck and neck with New South Wales not long ago. People are desperate to get jabbed. Just around the corner here in central Dandenong, the huge pop-up vax clinic is running out of vaccines at 2 or 3 p.m. every day because the community response has been so strong. Why does Pfizer matter though? It's because the time between the two doses was shorter and for many people the health advice was that's the preferred vaccine. So by shoveling doses to New South Wales, Scott Morrison's condemned Victoria to the last lane in the race and yet has allowed New South Wales to run a sprint. And now we hear, leading into October, there's supply problems with Pfizer, so Victorians are going to be shafted yet again by Scott Morrison's lethal negligence. We've also heard disturbing media reports that the wealthy eastern suburbs have been getting more vaccines uh, the, through the GPs and the pharmacies than the more disadvantaged suburbs. Uh, funnily enough, represented usually by Labor MPs. Now, I hate calling this stuff out. This is not about pitting one part of Australia against another or one group of Australians against another. But Morrison is supposed to be the Prime Minister for the whole country, not just for his home state or Liberal state or the parts of the country that he thinks he might need to win or hold some seats in. He's supposed to treat us all fairly, and this is not fair. Now, he had two jobs, as Australians know. He failed them. He didn't order enough vaccines, and he didn't build enough safe quarantine last year when it mattered to keep this deadly disease out. But now, what have we heard from Victorian federal Liberal MPs? Nothing. They've got nothing to say. They just want to keep trying to pretend that somehow these are Daniel Andrews' fault or that it's the Victorian government's lockdowns. These are Scott Morrison's lockdowns. If he'd ordered enough vaccines, we would have been vaccinated months ago and we would never have been suffering these lockdowns this year. Lethal negligence on the part of the Prime Minister. I think he's gonna get what's coming to him at the next election and that day cannot come soon enough. But for now, Victoria deserves our fair share.